Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio, how are you guys? Whoops, there we go. <laughs> there you go, Scorpio, a loyal heart. Yes, very nice. I will have singles readings up on Monday. Just wanted to mention that before I forget, so you can check out my playlist then. Okay, Scorpio, what is the overall energy surrounding you? right now there we go treasure island and never-ending story oh my goodness looks like you and another person are pretty stuck on each other that loyal heart very focused there's something that's moving slow here but this is a never-ending story so let's see what's going on scorpio yeah two people who can't seem to let go of each other possibly or some of you are uh, finding it very slow, finding that person who's loyal. Okay, Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know about this overall energy? Clear messages and guidance for Scorpio. Scorpio. Clarity, please, for Scorpio regarding the overall energy. Scorpio. We have the Hermit. Ah, a little bit of a journey, a little soul searching here. Looking for answers within. Spending a little time alone. And we have some kind of communication. Eight of Wands isn't always communication, but more often than not it is. There's some kind of, this is that back and forth, been there, done that. So it definitely goes for this slow moving energy to do with this never ending story. You could have a Virgo energy around you, or you could be, this could be yourself as well, but I'll read it as incoming and you can flip it. This could be to do with your love life, finance, career, friends, family, take it how it resonates, but it's looking like a love situation, yeah. You've got someone here who's going to communicate, I feel. This is someone who feels like they're not good enough or lonely. Someone's looking, you may be looking for your other half. You know, sort of contemplating this, going within, looking for answers. I feel like it's more than likely a person here that's feeling lonely, left out in the cold. They want to talk to you. So somebody may come in suddenly out of the blue here. So this is somebody that you know. If it's not, it's someone who is looking for a loyal partner. Definitely slow moving. Yeah, we have some Libra energy, some justice. Ooh. Somebody's looking for someone who's just right. So some of you have been looking for someone who's just right, or someone is. They may see you that way. Yeah, four of swords or someone who's been clearing out negative energy, taking a little bit of a break. Some of you may have been on a break from someone because they are... Possibly somebody wants to come towards you in the right way. They may see you, but they have a, maybe a few insecurities here, or they're just somebody who's kind of lonely, feeling left out in the cold. Pisces energy, there's that high priestess. Yeah, trusting your intuition. This is someone who has all the answers they already know. This person already knows, I feel. Definitely some of you know this person. If not, there's somebody here who's kind of lonely, you know, they're looking for a partner. They're looking for someone who's loyal, someone who's just right. This person's been healing and releasing, kind of clearing out their energy. They know, they have all the answers they seek. They already know, okay, what they want. So I feel like it's, it's gonna, it's telling you, trust your intuition if someone comes in. So there we go. We got the Queen of Pentacles. This could be you or this person. They could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, or it's just an energy of someone who, is looking into the future, <laughs> the never-ending story. Somebody who's single, possibly, very focused on money and finances, so someone who does things right. So there is definitely something to do with balance here and this justice. Someone may see you that way. They may see you as marriage material. But this never-ending story, it's very slow. So this could be yourself, could be this person, or as a matter of fact, it could be both of you. Yeah, focused on money, career, looking into the future, making plans. Hmm. This is also someone who spends a lot of time working. Yeah, this is about going down that path, finding somebody compatible. But I do feel there is something happening in your future. So if you have a person where you've been on a break, I feel as though your intuition is going to tell you this person's about to head back towards you. 
Yes, it certainly looks like it. But I feel this person knows. They kind of. I feel they have kind of a secret, something possibly that they've been working through, kind of soul searching. It could be that they're lonely, or maybe there's something to do with their. They don't feel like they have enough money, or they're not good enough. But I actually feel here that. I, I feel like this person sees you as marriage material. They see you as just right. They see you as someone who's always planning, very creative. You're off on that path. So I feel like your paths are about to cross. You're going to hook up with somebody here, whether you know them or not. Some of you are just taking a break, you know, finding that balance, just trusting your intuition. And I feel as if you have been on a break from love and you've kind of just... Then focus more on your money, taking your time, doing things right, planning some kind of success. Some of you are. I, I can see this energy moving forward, something creative. But I see two people who are compatible. This is two people who build each other up. Never-ending story, love. But for some of you, I definitely can see there's someone here you haven't heard from for a while. I feel this person was clearing out something, healing, uh, getting out of their head, kind of holding back. This person has a secret, and I think the secret is, is they actually have love for you, is what I'm feeling. So, but they are a slow-moving energy, and maybe that's something you're not so sure about here. We'll have a boo. Tell me about this hermit energy. Is this is a journey towards love here, the never-ending story. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, oh, is this ever going to end? Is this ever going to, you know, it's like, I feel like they, you know, they see you as compatible. They see you as someone who will build them up. They see you as a partner, someone very creative that's ready to go down that path. The hermit. Hermit energy. Just one, please. Here we go. Uh, so there you go. You've got somebody, King of Cups. Someone has some feelings, some emotions. This person wants to talk to you, but I do feel they've held back their feelings a little bit, maybe keeping them kind of secret. I do feel they're going to come in and communicate with you. This person's lonely, but they won't admit it. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> they're not going to admit that they're lonely. They're not going to admit that they are ready for love or want love, but it's there. You can see and this is the way that card falls right there facing the other way. Huh? They want to talk to you. They want to offer you something. They want to start something with you, but they kind of feel, there you go. They kind of feel like there's no hope. This is someone who needs to release negative energy. I feel like they were someone who was focused on something negative that may have happened in their past. Maybe they were kind of stuck on it and they needed to heal it. Because I feel this person wasn't paying attention here. For those of you who know the, who this is, that two of cups, that connection. Yeah, they may have sabotaged something here or sacrificed. Is this someone who kind of doesn't want to let you know that they're lonely? They, you know, they could be someone who's missing you. Yeah, see, they offered one cup, nothing more, you know. This is that be careful what they wish for. But I think this person is going to come in and sacrifice something now because I feel like there's a past energy, something that they did couldn't let go of that wasn't right for them, and that's what they're starting to realize. So that's an interesting energy, Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Why is this here? Five of Pentacles. Yeah, so there you go. Yeah, this is somebody here. There's a Scorpio energy. This person could be a little younger. Maybe they don't have, didn't have enough money. But this is somebody who's been very focused on self. Maybe they felt they weren't good enough. Or maybe they feel they just don't have enough money. That's what it kind of looks like. Uh, but they're lacking some kind of confidence to do with this. But there, this is someone who's stuck on you, and you're likely stuck on this person. But I can see you kind of looking into the future. You may be going off on another path. You may have a choice between two. I see Gemini, Libra, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This could be yourself, but it could be them as well. Aries, Leo, Sag energy. Yeah, some of you definitely, you may have a few people making you offers, but I, I'm going to tell you something. Uh, there's definitely someone here who's not going to admit they're lonely, and I do feel they are either younger or they just, they're lacking something is what I feel. So you may have a choice between two. There's somebody who's lacking, and then there's, but it I feel like this person's, honestly, I feel like it's them. They're lacking something in their own life. But they don't they won't admit it i can see that right there they're kind of focusing on themselves 
I do feel that they are, you know, they're, they're starting to feel a little enthusiastic. Tell me about justice. Yeah, some of you have someone who may be right for you and somebody who isn't around you as well. Yeah, so there's justice doing the right thing. I feel, wow. Yeah, some of you may have a couple of people around you. Some of you are holding back. You're uh, taking a break, just going out with friends and family, but there's something about this justice. There could be some kind of a event or something that's going to happen to bring you and this person together. They may actually come towards you and invite you out. They could be scoping you out on social media, trying to see what's going on with you. If you know this person, even if you don't, yeah, we have some cancer, yeah. So I feel as though this person's definitely headed your way. There's some confirmation with that wisdom. This person is definitely, they have some kind of a secret. Somebody, yeah, and I feel like what it is is they actually see you as just right. I do think they're going to come towards you and try to maybe make things right or do things right. I feel they're very much in control of their emotions. See, this person, they're using all the power they have to control their emotions. It's likely why they lost control, but they needed to heal something. They needed to release some negative energy. I do think this person's got a secret, and I think they know. They're very wise, but I feel like they know that. Uh, I think you're going to feel this energy, too. You know that this person's heading in your direction. You're probably going to feel their energy, Scorpio. Feel as though they, yeah, you know, they definitely. I think the secret is is that they they miss you. They're lonely if you know them. If not, there's somebody who kind of lacks that enthusiasm. You know, they feel like they're not good enough, or they're just not ready for a relationship. Maybe because they don't have enough money. Maybe they need to focus on their money more. Uh, something creative as well. But there's something you have in common here. Let's see about the High Priestess. Yeah, so there is definitely something this person's keeping secret. I feel like they could be working on themselves too, like working on self, but they're focused on something. Uh, they're building something and they're keeping it to themselves. This could be somebody you work with. Could be a secret admirer for some of you. But I do feel like they are lacking something. I do. And I feel like they're lacking something. They're trying to focus on themselves. But I don't think this... They want to come towards you. There's that caution, eh? That they're very cautious about how much they offer, how much they give of themselves. Uh, maybe they've sacrificed a lot for someone in the past and been hurt and they're kind of focused on it. But they want to offer you that pentacle. They, they want to. I feel they're working on something. They're, I do feel they could be perfecting their craft, going within themselves. Be cautious of this person just a little bit, though. Uh, I feel as though if they do communicate with you and you find that everything in the communication is about them, you might not you might feel this isn't going to work out but some of you have two people and you got someone where you're not going to put any work into it you're not interested in them others of you are going off on a new path because i feel as though you're very grounded you're being very realistic very practical because i'm seeing a choice here making a choice in love but you have someone up here that's kind of on that journey to love their soul searching they're also in a very similar energy, but I do think this person's going to come in and offer you what you want. If you have a person that comes in and there's something lacking, that's where you're going to just, they're not right for you. Your friends, family may tell you, this person's just not right for you, okay? They won't treat you right. They're not, they're immature. They're focused on themselves, things like that, because you may share that information with someone. Some of you may have heard some gossip about this person or heard something too, but be a little cautious with that. Not a big fan of gossip. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Why is this here for Scorpio? Yeah, being strong, being brave, being confident. Yeah, yeah. Some of you are. You're going to use all the strength that you have to move off on a new path towards someone else. You got someone who feels that pull towards you. You've got a person here who is quite compatible. And I actually feel like you're going to make this choice, but there's something to do with this never-ending story. So I feel as though some of you are just focused on money. I feel like it's sort of saying it's time to take a break, time to go out and meet people, to find someone who's right for you. 
because uh, if you have or if you are dating or seeing someone and you find that they're not very focused on you or there's something lacking in the relationship you do have a person here they could be a secret admirer they could be someone who has a lot of feelings for you they could be someone you've worked with in the past and never told you just trust your intuition i see some cancer energy here for some of you someone using all the power they have to come towards you to take control using their wisdom their intuition yeah you you have some some of you it's definitely someone you work with it's kind of a secret admirer yeah there's that yeah emotional fulfillment i'm liking this energy i'm liking the way this is going to end there is a something coming to an end here there's something coming to fruition uh, even though I know it says never-ending story, like this is a very slow, some of you have been waiting a long time for the right person. Uh, and I feel as though your friends are telling you, make sure you pick the right person. You may, your, some of your friends may know this other person. You may have some friends in common. Um, this is about justice, balance, marriage, commitment, doing things right. It's all about finding the one. Your friends may actually tell you this person sees you as just right, <laughs> that they may want to come towards you. Yeah, just I would watch if you do work with this person, be a little careful of gossip. Keep things to yourself, it's saying, okay? Don't rush into anything. That's your intuition going to tell you. Take your time like the Queen of Pentacles. Look at the details. You know, just I, I see you possibly planning a future, going off on this path, something you're creating, something you feel really strong about, very confident. It's telling you to be brave. I feel like this person may be trying to gain the strength and confidence to come in. Their friends may be telling them to just go in and go for it. They may have heard something about you as well. You have you may have some friends in common here. And I feel there's some kind of emotional fulfillment. Some of you are just fulfilling your time. You're on a break from love. You're just, you know, you're kind of happy working and creating right now as well. While you wait for that right person to come towards you. I do see that slow process. Yeah, so, whoops, this card wants to come out. Yeah, I see two people manifesting each other here. So we have a little bit of a mirroring energy, I feel. This person's trying to gain the strength to come in. I feel like you got someone here who sees a future with you. You may actually see a future with this person. And it's telling you, you're going to see this person in the future because you're manifesting. You're focused on your money. You're being strong and brave. But they are also. So you're mirroring each other a little bit here. And I, because of this center energy, I feel like you have some friends in common. Now, there's something about someone being just right. Your friends, some of you are, your friends are telling you that this person's not right for you. There's somebody lacking. They're not good enough. They're kind of immature. And then you've got this emotionally mature person that's just a little cautious. They're kind of on that journey to love. They're soul searching their feelings and their emotions here. Now, they could be checking you out on social media or talking to your friends. And they're probably telling them, just go for it. So there's the offer, the communication coming in. But you have somebody that's been there, done that, that keeps coming back around possibly. Okay, so I do feel like you're not focused on this person. I think you're going to turn your back on them. Yeah, you've got someone here who's just not good enough. Somebody who's kind of negative, a little wishy-washy. They, yeah, Somebody who sabotages. Or somebody, you got someone here who's afraid this, I feel like it's this person. I think they're afraid to sacrifice their feelings. They're only going to offer a little bit at first to kind of see how things go. You may feel like this Scorpio where you lack enthusiasm, like there's something lacking in their offer. And you may feel like this, like, oh, I mean, you could be feeling like that regarding the way they're coming towards you. But I feel as though your friends are going to tell you to just... You know, just I, I feel like this person's trying to come in right. I do think that they, you know, they're very much fighting to control their emotions. They're holding back their emotions, right? But they want to have success with you. They want to work this out. So let your intuition guide you. I feel like this is really positive and it's likely, you know, not so dramatic as this. It's just someone who's careful about who they share their feelings with. They have a tendency to keep to themselves. They could be someone who's a bit of a loner, loner, you know, and spends a lot of time alone and they're, you know, kind of lonely and they're on this journey towards love, towards finding somebody. There you go. Two people who are focused on each other, loyal people, two people who build each other up. You have someone who uh, is definitely really, I feel, drawn to you, very, very much attracted. 
Now they feel that pull, but I feel as though you're just kind of focused on the future. Um, I mean, this person could be, I do see Virgo energy with the lovers. I see Gemini, again, with the lovers up there and the loyal hearts, two loyal people who build each other up. Ooh, there's something really positive. You got someone here who's a loyal type and possibly for those of you that have several people, somebody who's not so much. There's that crossroads, that choice in life. It's a very slow moving, but you know, it's about taking things slow, moving towards success or somebody who's sincere. They could be someone you know, possibly. Like, I don't know who's who for sure, who's the never ending story, but I possibly feel like it's, you've got someone who comes in and offers you a cup, they don't share their feelings. And that could be the never ending story where your friends say, this person's not coming in right. They're not treating you right. Or maybe they're married, they don't have anything to offer because they're already in a commitment for some. But don't assume that with anybody, okay? Always make sure you have proof before you uh, make an assumption. Tell me about this never-ending story. Yeah, so this is coming to an end. See, I told you there was something. I can feel the whole energy. Something's coming to completion. There's a something, a very long situation, or it could be some of you, like, you know, you've been making plans, working hard, working on your money, creating things. You're ready for teamwork. It's coming to an end. I see emotional fulfillment. I see two people coming together, fulfilling each other by being loyal, stuck on each other. There's a very strong connection that you're going to have. If you have nobody, expect this never-ending story situation or this never-ending uh, being single. <laughs> it looks like it may come to an end. Yeah, see, there you are looking at this, focusing on this ending. Some of you are just completing a job, completing something that you've been working on and manifesting, you now have all the tools, but I feel like you've got a person here who's been working on themselves, going within, they have all the answers they need. They Maybe you have someone who needed to heal, they needed to do a little inner work before they come towards you as well. This is a very wise choice as well for someone to do that. So if you are on a break from someone or you have a situation like that from someone you haven't heard from, yeah, see, this is someone who's been working on their money, Someone who feels like they're not good enough or they're lacking, they're working on it. So it's either they're working to build their money, could be them here, it could be both of you. I see a mirroring, so it's a lovely. Some of you have someone who just doesn't have a lot of money, so I feel as though you're, or it may even not be that, there's just lack, lack in the way they communicate, maybe focused on themselves, maybe immature. So if you have two, a little caution. I love it when the Queen of Pentacles comes out because it's telling you that you're grounded, you're sensible, you have all the tools you need to manifest love. Something is coming to an end. Your single life and also a project for some of you. It's going to bring you a, some, a lot of fulfillment and happiness. So I can see that. <laughs> some of you don't see a future with somebody here and you're going to end it. It's done. You're no longer going to uh, put any effort into it. It's possible you're focused on somebody. You may, it could be someone from the past. It's possible. But it certainly doesn't have to be with these cards. Tell me about this Three of Cups. I'll dig a little bit more. Yeah, so there is definitely some kind of adventure. This is, you know, about success, setting yourself free. Some of you are releasing some friends who aren't right for you. Uh, you're letting them go. Some of you have a few people around you giving you attention and they're not right for you. So your intuition is going to tell you someone's not right, they're not. So you're setting yourself free. And it could be this person as well, setting themselves free from maybe dating other people, people who just come in towards them and just want attention. Okay. But I see success. If you're going out, make sure you just dress just right, dress for success, because I feel like if those of you could meet somebody too, it could be somebody new who's a little bit shy at first, a little introverted emotionally, doesn't mean they're not full of love. They are emotionally mature. Yeah, there you go. It came out. Somebody who spends time soul searching their feelings, emotions. It's about what they want and what they don't want when it comes to love. But look at that loyalty. They want a loyal partner. They may have been with somebody who wasn't loyal and they've been focused on that, right? You know, and I can see that. They're no longer going to focus on it. I feel they're ready for something new now. They're ready to make an offer, but they are cautious. They will take it slow. So expect this person to reach out and communicate. If they don't come towards you right, I do feel like you're going to let them go. 
If it is somebody who keeps coming around, you may put an end to it permanently because you're not comfortable with the way they approach or uh, the way they are. But I, I see a choice for many of you. Tell me about this magician energy. This is manifesting mirroring. Two people who mirror each other very much the same. Two people who are manifestors that know how to build each other up. You see, loyal. I'm loving something really nice is about to happen. Yeah, two people who are very compatible mirror each other. Two people who know how to manifest money, definitely. Maybe that's what you want. Someone kind of like that, that knows how to manifest. You know, it's creative. It's it's cooperating compromise. It's about compatibility. And uh, it's about going down that path and building something together. You may have someone who doesn't have a lot of money. They may feel like, you know, they're not good enough. They may be wanting to approach you. It's possible they could be uh, somebody who is very skilled in a lot of things and very creative. They could actually, you know, the two of you together could build something. You could create something and go down a path. Just because they don't have money, they are very hardworking. They will work. Um, they actually could be somebody who's in some kind of trades or something and very physically... Uh, very good with tools and things like they're very capable so maybe they just need someone to build them up they need a partner could be yourself as well but it's looking really positive Scorpio it's just telling you to stay grounded that's that Queen of Pentacles for me she comes out all the time okay it doesn't matter man or woman it's an energy of somebody who's very practical someone who likes the creature comforts at home this is where you know maybe you just want a companion at first until you get to know someone but you know Whatever this never-ending story is, it's over. It's done. It's a painful period in your life or possibly this person's. You may not see a future with one person because of the way you're facing here, but you see a future with someone else where you have that strong connection. I feel like it's this person up here. They may have Sag or Leo in their chart. So you have someone here who may have Leo, someone who may have some Sag in their chart, but I'm guessing they're probably may not show exactly who they are i definitely see strong virgo and gemini and you know of course the aries leo sage but it feels like something in their uh, chart that's not as big it's not as strong as their sun sign so to speak okay it could be their um could be their emotional energy their moon sign or something because i'm feeling like this person's actual sign may not show up unless they're a taurus virgo capricorn possibly gemini seems to be the strongest yeah it's interesting how this is coming out tell me about the queen of pentacles oops this is the one that actually came out ah oh, there you go aries leo sad yeah you got someone here who knows what they want you got someone who's leveling up coming after you i feel some of you are ending things with one person and going towards another some of you don't see a future with somebody who wants everything their way they're very controlling uh, you're going to trust your intuition. You may already know everything you need to know about somebody. It's this person. They're kind of immature. They just want what they want. They only come in when they want attention. They're lacking. So you're going to go in another direction with this other person. So, yeah, you got somebody here who's scoping you out. Have no fear. If you're going out, dress for success. You may meet this person if you haven't, or you've already met them and you haven't heard from them or they haven't reached out yet. Let's see where the outcome is here. Oh, Scorpio. It looks really positive. I see somebody that you're very much very similar to here, uh, that you're going to team up and go down this path. You're going to create something beautiful and manifest something together. It could be money. It could be anything. I mean, it, or both, right? This is that beautiful path to the golden palace to commitment. So there's some very positive energy flying high. There's that sense of freedom. You may set yourself free. Some of you are leaving some friends behind too, okay? I can see that, that aren't right for you. They don't really fit. But it could be this person coming towards you as well. But I see this flying high. And I also see this rescue. So there's that, that sabotage, sacrifice kind of energy is here. And how I'm seeing it is you're just waiting for this person. You're not chasing them. You're definitely not chasing anybody. Uh, I feel as though you have this sense of freedom and you're waiting for someone to come in. Someone may be wanting you to come towards them and kind of rescue them, but I don't, don't rescue somebody, okay? Make sure whoever it is that comes towards you that they are going to give you the attention you need because I can see someone here who doesn't have a lot of money, okay? Somebody here wants you to do all the work and they kind of lack and I feel that 
I just feel like you got, it's this person, they want everything their way. It's kind of, you know, very controlling and you don't see a future with them. That's over. Uh, so it could be an Aries, Leo, Sag. It doesn't have to be. Like I say, it could be anybody. They just have that energy, kind of demanding. They like to be the boss. Some of you, some of you could be going off on a new job too. I can see that energy uh, relocating to another community uh, where you're going to work hard, maybe for a little less money, but it'll bring you success eventually with all the hard work. So you're at that crossroads in your life, whether you should or shouldn't. Don't rush into anything. It's saying, take your time, look at the details, plan and prepare for success. Uh, but I feel that there's some really good stuff. If some of you have been lonely or you're lacking money, it's telling you to work. Trust your intuition when it comes to work and your money as well. So that's interesting. But yeah, don't rescue somebody financially either. You may have somebody who kind of wants you to. Uh, but I, <laughs> maybe someone thinks that you want to, but I don't feel that you really need that. Okay, Scorpio. There we go. Yeah, so it's the wishing well, so the talisman. You have good luck, so whatever it is you're wishing for, you have good luck, okay? You are protected. So if you're in that energy of being careful what you wish for, you have the talisman. You have the good luck here. So if it's, uh, there's something that you're wanting, it looks like you're going to get it. And I think you're going to end something with someone where it just never ends. It's a never-ending story, and they're just immature, and I feel like you're going to come together with somebody much better, somebody who's going to build you up, not tear you down. Okay, and that could be financially too. You may have been with somebody who did a lot of work. You may have had a relationship before with someone who uh, was really lacking in the relationship. They didn't work very hard. You did all the work. So it's telling you with the high priestess, you already know, I think you already know this one person who may be headed your way. Uh, the other person, possibly you do, but I also feel they could be a, a secret admirer. They could be someone you worked with before that kind of lacks a little self-esteem for some reason. but Or they're just lonely and they're at that crossroads. So it's about someone's intention. Someone's intentions are to come together with you. There's that owl again, that wisdom. Okay, So be very wise here. Make sure you ask somebody what their intentions are before you start anything. But I feel like you got someone who really is ready for love. They're on that soul-searching journey to do with their feelings, their emotions. Uh, they definitely have their eye on you. Some of you do know them, some of you don't. But this is about a loyal person, two people who build each other up with that. So this is a physical and a very much a mental connection as well. So a couple of wise people here. All right, Scorpio, I wish you the best. Take care of yourself, and we'll see you soon.